Welcome to Roses for Adventure, or welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna to share with you some dollar store items that you should be purchasing before your next cruise. These items will not only save you money, but can come in handy along the way. So let's go to the dollar store and I'll show you what you should be buying. First off, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our channel. That way you can stay up to date on all of our awesome videos. And if this video is informative and helpful to you, smash that like button. It is the best way to support our channel and all this awesome free content that we're bringing to you. Today we are at the Dollar Tree. We're gonna go get some items to take on our next cruise. So let me share some great budget-friendly items that you can find at your local Dollar Tree. So right out of the bat, the first thing that I always buy at the dollar store is snacks. I have two small boys and they love their snacks and it is so much cheaper to buy those types of snacks at the dollar store and bring them onto the airplane with you than try to buy them at the airport. They can be almost 10 times as much money at the airport to buy them there. So plan ahead, get yourself some snacks. We are huge fans of all things Sour Patch, so I had to grab a Sour Patch Kids, Sour Patch Watermelon, really trying to decide what else. Uh, I was hoping for some Nerd Clusters because my boys love those. I uh, wasn't seeing them here. I did find these other giant nerds, so let's keep looking. Now, something you may not know about cruise ships if you've never cruised before is that the walls are magnetic and the doors are magnetic, or metal, I guess. Um, so sometimes you can find really cute decorations at the dollar store that are magnetic. I did not find any this time, but keep your eyes peeled, especially around holidays, if you would like a holiday theme decoration on your door. Um, it's a great way to mark your room. The dollar store is also a great place to find some small compact toys. Um, I usually try and buy just one little toy for them to tinker with, either on the airplane or on the ship. Um, and then I pack small toys for them to play with on the airplane. So I debated getting them another like Hot Wheels car, but we already have so many and I'll just have them pack some of their ones from home to play with on the cruise ship and on the airplane. So I did find these cute little squishy things. I'm not quite sure what they are, but they're like a mystery pack. Um, my boys always think that those are so entertaining just opening something that they have no idea what it is. So I like to pack small compact toys, not only for the space saving, but because if you take the children to the main dining room for dinner, it is a very long process. So it could take one to two hours of them sitting there. They get bored. So I try to pack tiny toys for them to play with at the table that are not going to be disrupting the people around me. So definitely no balls or those types of things, but little cars that they can push around the table uh, quietly or things like that. They also had some great small puzzles and activities and games at my dollar store today. I did not buy any because the cruise ship that we are going on still has its library on board. A lot of the other ships that have been amplified or revamped, they take the library out and so they take out all of the games as well. So there are board games on board, the Harmony of the Seas is which we're going on pretty soon here. So I'd pass these up, but it could be a great idea if you're looking for something that is small and easily travelable and also then you don't have to worry about bringing it back home if you decide, you know, maybe it gets broken because it's not that high of a quality item, obviously. Or it looks like this battleship is maybe a one-time use kind of thing. It's got stickers, so um, something great to consider. And also only $1.25. So they also have an awesome section of coloring and activity books. Um, my kids are a little bit old for these now, but if your kids love coloring books and activity books, this is a great place to get them because, like I said, they're only $1.25. So you can get a couple, you can get a whole bunch. Also a great place to stock up on your crayons and markers if you want some fresh ones for while you travel. And for our older adults and teens and those sorts of things, if you like doing crosswords or Sudokus or any of those types of activity books, they have those here as well. And if you buy those at the airport, I guarantee you're gonna spend 10 times as much. So. Plan ahead, stock up ahead, get these at the dollar store. So I've never noticed this about my dollar store, but it has a ton of cords, charging cords, all the different phone cords. I cannot speak to how well they work, um, you know, if you have like a lightning charger or whatever on your phone. So I did not pick up any of these, plus we already have a drawer full of cords that we have way too many already anyways. Um, but if you're looking for an extra cord for while you travel or a, sp a specific one to keep just for travel, cheap option to at least try. Um, 
They also had some earbuds and headphones and those types of things. And these cute little compacts that look like it would be a great place to wind your cord up into, put your headphones in there, your little earbuds in there, um, and just keep everything organized so it's not just floating around the bottom of your backpack. Now this power block looks awesome. So if you've ever been on a cruise ship before, there are very, very, very limited plugs. Um, my husband and I cruised this past January and February, and we only had one set of plugs on our desk. So luckily we had some plugs that have like a multi-USB on the side of them. Um, this is also a great option. So it looks like it just plugs into the wall, but unfortunately this plug has, looks like it needs to be plugged into both outlets, a top and a bottom. Now I'll show you a picture of what it looks like at the desk. There's not really a plug that looks like this where it's an outlet stacked on top of each other. They're all kind of in a row. Um, also, it looks like there's this other one that has three plugs to one, but again, then you're taking up the rest of these other plugs that are here on the desk. So, could work, could not work, um, it's up to you. Some of the cruise ships have different plug options than what the Oasis class does. Unfortunately, they're very limited. So instead, I would recommend, obviously this is not a dollar store item, it does not cost just a dollar, but you'd want to get some sort of a multi-plug USB cord. Or we have also bought this off of Amazon that is not a surge protector, you just have to make sure it's not surge protected. They will confiscate it if it is. Another great thing, especially if you're traveling with kids, it does get very, very dark, especially in the interior rooms um, and even on balcony rooms because you are out in the middle of water. So there's not a bunch of lights around, light polluting, um, so you do want some sort of night light. Some of the cruise ships have an automatic night light in the bathroom, some of them don't. So a great idea to grab a night light. These ones look really great and I've never seen this one before. It's got a magnet on it. I am definitely gonna have to try this one out um, because as I said, all of the walls are made of metal so you can stick magnets to them. So this looks like a great way to add some extra light to our cruise room. Now, always, always, always when you're traveling, grab some hand sanitizer. Yes, there is hand sanitizer all over the cruise ship, but also nice just to have in your purse or near you at all times when you're flying or traveling, trying to keep those germs away. We're on vacation, we're not trying to get sick. They also have an awesome toothbrush and toothpaste selection here. Um, it doesn't look like they have a ton of options for travel toothpaste, the smaller sizes, so I'm gonna keep looking. But if you need a new toothbrush, a fresh toothbrush, um, and you don't want to just take your one from home and throw it in a baggie or have whatever. Um, it's a great place to get them for cheap. This is also a great place to stock up on things like bandages, just basic first aid items, um, like these types of adhesive bandages, just in case anybody gets a blister or a scrape or cut or anything. You are on vacation, you're going to be out exploring, so good to be prepared. It's definitely going to be cheaper here than it would be on board. And then this is also a great place to get some of your over-the-counter medication like ibuprofen, acetaminophen, any allergy medicine, things like that. Just basics in case you need them, they will be much cheaper to stock up on and bring with you onto the cruise ship than buying them once you're aboard. This is also a great place to stock up on a few of your vitamins if you like taking vitamin C or zinc. Um, and they have these great little pill organizers, so you can either use them to organize your daily medications or label them and put in a couple of each over-the-counter medication that you like to bring on board. They also have a really great section of makeup remover wipes, which is super great for traveling. You don't have to worry about carrying a huge bottle of a product with you or trying to fill one of the reusable ones from home. So they have a bunch of different kinds that you can choose from. They also have a ton of these reusable um, lotion bottles. You can use them for shampoo or conditioner. Um, I like to use them for conditioner and face wash. They do have a shampoo and body wash provided on most to all cruise ships that I know of. Um, so I do like to pack my own conditioner and my own face wash in one of these types of bottles. And you can see they have a couple different options. One has a spray bottle. Um, I have some of these at home, so I'm not gonna purchase them today, but a great option if you don't already own these. 
This is also a great place to get little cosmetic bags. Not only for your cosmetics, if you like to keep them organized, but you can also organize all of your charging cords in this so that they're not, again, just floating all over your luggage or backpack. And I also found these cute luggage tags on an end cap. Um, one of them says, but first coffee, and I thought it was really, really cute. And then they had some toothbrush caps, which I always lose mine or they break, so I'm gonna get a pack of these. And then they also have these other cute luggage tags that look like little vans. Um, I, I'm all set on these today, but if you're looking for affordable luggage tags, check out your local Dollar Tree. Now, this is in by no way a complete list. This is not all the things you have to bring every single time, but just things that I found helpful. This is not sponsored by Dollar Tree in any way. Um, I do enjoy shopping there as I can find some pretty good deals on things, especially for traveling, that, you know, if I lose them or they get damaged, I'm not as concerned about them because they didn't cost very much. So let me know in the comments what your favorite items are to bring along and your favorite money savers of things that you like to bring on board and save some money. That is all I have for you for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you found this information helpful in any way or you like this content, please consider subscribing and smashing that thumbs up button as it is the best way to support our channel. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.